What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you episode 2 of Get Sapped, where I pick Bob the Beast Sap and just run through people in the heavyweight division in ranked mode, online, UFC 3, it's going down, we got Bob Sap up against Cain Velasquez, and I must tell you guys, this is the most epic finish to a fight ever so make sure to leave a like for the events that will occur at the end of this fight but don't skip to the end because that's just cheating because yeah so as you can see he picked Cain Velasquez a tough opponent for Bob Sapp very tough uh, Cain Velasquez is actually probably one of the tougher opponents for anyone just because of his move set his wrestling and his striking his overhand rights, they're just pretty hard to deal with. So uh, I'm kind of scared of the overhand rights initially. I'm trying to take him down. He can't take the beast down. He's too strong. And, you know, it's Bob Sapp. I mean, what do you want to do? I mean, he's got a huge overhand. He's got a huge overhand, I mean, a huge straight right. He's got a, a nasty, just huge hook by holding back and a power modified right. You know, you can just spam those. I got hit with a huge head kick there. Didn't like it, so I take get the huge takedown. Bob Sapp gets mount, gets postured up. These are huge shots, but he manages to save himself. But I get postured up again. Sapp, the beast, raining down shots. Unbelievable. But he, he pulls guard again, and he gets to half guard into full guard, and he's almost safe, but no. The Beast stays on top, speeding on Kane. And watch out for the big knee. Sapp's got him up against the fence. Beautiful knee there, anticipating the takedown. And as you can see, Bob Sapp has those huge shots in over, under, up against the cage. Those big head shots. Trying to work the big knees of Bob Sapp, the brutal knees. Get the takedown again. You got to keep it unpredictable. The Beast keeps the pressure on leaving no, round one that is clearly a round for the beast Bob Sapp now the whole point of this series is to challenge uh, to get a good challenge and granted a lot of times in heavyweight regardless of the fighters you're just gonna get quick matches because someone's gonna land the right punch it's gonna get either be a knockout or it'll be a TKO so, that's that. But we will skip this and go into the next round here. Round two. Here we go. We got Kane. He's looking a little beat up. You know, he's getting he's getting his will tested. And this, I believe this round, it actually might be the next round. So this might be a three-round fight. Trying to take the beast down again. I don't think so. But he lands a brutal knee. A brutal, brutal knee on Bob Sapp. And Bob Sapp cannot take many of those knees because he will get rocked and he will get finished with pretty much the first rock almost all the time. I mean, I don't think he has much heart, which uh, sort of a sort of is a realistic uh, depiction of him, I guess. As of late, not not so much back in the day. Bob Sapp is by far one of my favorite fighters ever. Uh, if you, he had a fight in K1 against a guy named Kimo. And uh, it's probably my favorite fight ever. So if you haven't seen that, just YouTube it. Bob Sapp uh, versus Kimo, K-I-M-O. It is an absolutely just, it's it just, uh, it's insane. Everything about it's insane. Like both of them cheat during the fight. They uh, back and forth. I mean, you got Bob Sapp waddling around like he, his legs are made of freaking spaghetti. It, it's, it's, an, it's just hilarious. But back to this fight. As you can see, you know, we're, I'm trying to get damage put in, and so is he, but we're, we're really doing a good job of pretty much protecting ourselves. As you can see, the beast working that, uh, those shots from the bottom like a true animal, just punching him from the bottom. I mean, that's what you got to do. You got to keep, you got to keep the pressure on. You can't let him punch you all the time. You got to punch him from the bottom too. But... As you can see, the uh, totals, Bob Sapp, an amazing reversal, uh, but 
the head totals are pretty even, I'd say. I think I might have a little more damage to his head. But he's been doing a good job working the knees, working my body, slowing the beast down. But he doesn't know what is, is about to come. He, he's not ready for it. So as you can see, I'm really holding that block close and I'm protecting my head because you just got to, you, you can't take many risks in heavyweight, you know. Bob Sapp, big shots, but gets me up against the cage. You look at the time, he gets off the cage and he gets another shot blocked. So round three, heavyweight fight, Bob Sapp. What will happen? What will happen? We'll skip to the next round here. Right about now. So round three, what will happen? How will this fight end? Who will win? That is the question. Bob Sapp. He's playing it smart. Looking for takedowns. Looking to counter. You know, who, what, what will he do? How can he finish this fight? Because as everyone knows, MMA game does not upload decisions. He does not do that. I do not upload decisions. This fight will end 100% of the time. There are no decisions on this channel. But, again, makes it to full mount. Kane doing an outstanding job of surviving. Unbelievable. Bob Sapp raining the big shots. He keeps the pressure on. Cain Velasquez gets him up against the cage again. Working big knees to the legs. What's Sapp going to do? Shrugs him off. He's too strong. Look at the power. Overpowering Kane. Gets the takedown. How is Sapp going to finish this fight? Not much time left. What will happen? Here we go. They square off. They're, they're looking to strike Bob Sapp, looking for leg kicks, amazing leg kicks. Is, will, he, will he start throwing? Starts countering, hooks, coming in, big right hook, looks for the takedown. Oh my, a backflip takedown, look at the power of Sapp. But Kane still survives, big shots from the ground and pound. Sapp going to work. He's hurt him again. Huge shots from Sapp and the fight's over. Oh my. Amazing finish. Bob Sapp has done it. Beating Cain Velasquez with an absolutely amazing takedown. Oh my. A huge power. Lifting him up over his head. Suplex. Suplexing him down. And still Cain somehow survives. But then the big shots... In the sprawl position, he could not survive. The fight's over. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, you have to leave this video a like. That that, that was just absolutely insane. Um, I didn't even know Bob Sapp had that takedown. I mean, that was... When I was playing during this match, I was just... It was just nuts. I was going crazy. But that's the video. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, this has been MMA Game. Please leave a like on this video. And subscribe. Peace.